thanks for joining me on our daily English news program on Somalia and National Television. I'm Ars Mohammed and these are the stories in the headlines. President of Somaliland sends a message of condolence for the death of cultural leader Ibrahim Mohammed Samir. Police chief of Somaliland concludes a training program for members of the police force. President of Somaliland Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silanian sent a message of condolence to the cultural leaders, parliamentarians, government and people of Somaliland on the death of the late Ibrahim Mohamed Warsame, one of Somaliland's prominent cultural leaders. The late Ibrahim Mohamed Warsame, also known as Shebe, passed away in Bur'a city in Tawdeh region. President of Somaliland Ahmed Mohamed Mahmoud Silanio sent his sincere condolences to the family, friends, and loved ones of the late Ibrahim Mohamed. The president pointed out that the late Ibrahim Mohamed was one of the Somaliland's renowned cultural leaders who took part in strengthening and maintaining peace and security in Somaliland. Also, he played a pivotal role in preserving our tradition and culture, as well as his dedication to be part of rebuilding this great nation all these years. He eventually prayed on behalf of the Somaliland people that Allah grant him Jannah. Somaliland's police chief, Abdullahi Fadal Iman, handed over honorary certificates to 30 police officers after completing a training program aimed at strengthening their overall skills. Police chief spoke about the purpose of this training program and its significance to the police force and stated that it's important to train the police officers and provide them with the necessary assets to perform their duty in the finest way possible. He continued to emphasize on the need for such developmental initiatives and their positive impact on the work of the police force in Somaliland. Somaliland's police chief Abdullahi Fadal Iman praised the participants for their dedication and willingness to learn and improve. He conclusively urged the participants to work hard at assisting their fellow officers and the nation as a whole using the methods and the valuable knowledge they received at this training program. Governor of Togdeh region Mohamed Musa Diria updated the media on the overall conditions of Togdeh region and the ongoing progress. Governor of Togdeh region stated that conditions in Bur'a city are stable at the moment and that reports show that some areas across the country are undergoing drought. On the other hand, the governor responded to complaints stating that governors spend more time in the capital city than in the regions and he explained that the capital city is very important anchoring point regarding the progress for all the regions. He further explained that governors of the regions take part in the developmental process in Somaliland and that their effort is needed to support the government in the capital regarding their efforts in bettering the country as a whole. Governor of Togdeh region revealed a number of developmental projects in the pipeline for the government regarding growth in different sectors in Somaliland. The Good Governance and Anti-Corruption Commission held a meeting discussing ways of raising awareness among the community against individuals who serve food in the streets on Ramadan during the hours of fasting. The Commission on this meeting urged the people of Somaliland to work closely with the police force of Somaliland and the Commission in eliminating this forbidden act during the holy month of Ramadan. Head of the Good Governance and Anti-Corruption Commission, Sheikh Abdurrahman Mohammed, officially announced the commencement of this campaign in the upcoming month of Ramadan and continued by urging the citizens to collaborate with the government on its efforts to embark on this campaign. Deputy Head of the Commission, Hachi Awil Hussein, also explained the purpose of this campaign, highlighting the importance of following rules in our religion and avoiding all the forbidden deeds. In conclusion, he expressed appreciation to the continuous efforts of the government in assisting the Commission on the previous years with this campaign. That's all the news for now. Thanks for watching and catch us tomorrow at the same time. Until then, take care.